Hello everyone, here you can see some production of the petrol. Uh, what we've got here. It's a, this is a fuel separation machine. Wrong fuel separation machine. Um, designed specially to separate accidentally mixed uh, diesel and petrol. Now, this unit is uh, about 4 kilowatts. Here you can see separation of diesel fuel. The unit is continuous. The machine is about uh, 1.5 meter high, uh, about 30 kilograms of weight. It's weight 30 kilograms. Now, um, here we've got some mix. I've got a lot of mix, especially for this machine, it's about uh, 160 liters in total, already processed about 20 liters. Now the processing speed is uh, 10 liters per 15 minutes, so 40 liters per hour. 40 liters of mix can be processed per hour with this machine. Uh, I will add some extra features, so it's only testing, and because of testing I just see some issues small issues that can be fixed differently so I will add an extra breathing, breathing device on top of this column uh, because of production rate is quite high we've got an extra cooling device the same as with my oil distillation units I would say the design of the machine looks almost exactly the same slightly different same concept different supply of the feedstock into the machine directly into the reactor also I've got voltage regulators and running at approximately uh, 190 volts not to 40 like we've got over here so to keep the elements slightly underpowered cooler we don't need to burn our fuel we need just to distill it now, here again we've got petrol separation over here. And diesel separation over here. Also, this machine can process light crude oil. So it would be possible to separate petrol fraction from the crude oil and uh, some oil and uh, whatever diesel fraction would come out from this pipe and resulting thing or whatever mix would need to be processed with the oil, uh, oil distillation unit to separate diesel from the crude oil. Uh, thus, two machines of this type, like uh, petrol separator and oil distillation machine, would be enough to run a small refinery to make diesel and petrol. So this video is for my customer. I would like him to see the machine working running properly, efficiently, without any problems. Uh, running the machine at 153 degrees. Just enough to properly separate petrol and make sure that there is no diesel in the petrol. 150, 153 would be fine. And uh, good diesel separation good petrol separation over here.
and this plastic pipe is a breather pipe it's a temporary one temporary solution I just uh, uh, running it like that I wanted to see how the thing gonna work so I will add some extra features as I usually do now it's only testing and I'm planning to process about 160 liters just today thank you Have a good day. And yes, uh, I'm running just normal solid state state fuel pump for this machine. Bye.